hello friends uh, welcome again and uh, this is my new project uh, online shopping system and i have developed this project in react js spring boot and mysql right and this is a major project uh, where we have integrated three types of user the first one is the admin second one is a user and third one is a delivery boy right so these three types of users we have integrated in this project right and if you talk about the id then we are using uh, this one that is a visual studio code for writing the spring boot application you can see these all are the spring boot codes right so this sorry react code and for spring boot application we have used this sts spring boot tool suits for uh, developing the api spring boot application right and we are using port 3000 you can see here uh, for running the react application and port 8 Zero eight zero for uh, for running that Spring Boot applications, right? So these technology stacks we have used for developing this project, right? So uh, I I will explain you two things: the feature and the code structure of this project here in this in this video, right? So once you run this project, you will get this home page. So you can see this is a home page, right? And uh, here you can you can see a slider is running on the home page, and there are some static text, and these are the some category and which is coming from the database. These are again some static contents, right? So these data, this category is coming from database through the Spring Boot API, right? This is about us page. This is a static page that is nothing dynamic on it, right? We are not using any type of API here. This is a category page again. This uh, is a database driven and it's coming from the API, Spring Boot API. And the search feature, if you want to search for anything, then you can search it and it will work perfectly, right? If you click on the SUSE, you will be able to sue all products which belong to SUSE, right? This is all products, right? Here, this is all products. You will be able to see all of the products which is available in the database. And you can search here according to the category or according to the product title, right? And this page is dynamic and all of the products are coming from the database. This registration. And if you don't have user ID and password, then you can register from here. So one more thing, this is a role right here is a delivery partner and the customer, right? So from the same page, customer can also register and delivery partner can also register, right? So there are two types of role we have integrated here. And third one is the admin, right? Admin can't register, right? This is a login from here, user can log in. So we have integrated, we have uh created a single login page for all of the roles login so all of the user will be able to log in from a single page right and this is a feedback page from here user can submit the feedback right <clears throat> now i am going to log in as a user and i am going to purchase some product so user id is amit at the right <clears throat> and the password is test right if you log in then you will get this user dashboard you can see this is the menu and this is the dashboard right here you can see the my administration sections right and here is the data right so now i am going to all products and here you can see quick view and i want to add three items into the card so i have added three items again i want to choose this project and one item into the card so now i have one item set right? if you want to delete any item just click on delete and it will ask for the confirmation and once you click on this that item will be deleted again uh, if i click on the quick view add to cart right so two items have added added into the cart right once you click on the checkout then it will ask your card details right it's not real time payment it's a dummy payment gateway right you can enter anything here right and that's by month and the date right once you so a total amount you need to pay is 330 this is a non-editable field you can't edit it and once you click on the submit you will get this dashboard order details is right so order number 415 uh, we have created and we have saved inside the database and these are the order items and the details right you can print the things from here also right in my order section if you click on the my ad because we have nothing into card it, it will show the plan if you click on the my orders so you can see here right once you click on you can see this is the order is a paid right so these are the status of the and these all are the orders placed by the current user right if you click on here right you will be able to see the details right there is submit feedback again you can submit a feedback and this is a my account system from here you can uh update your account details right and the logout so if you click on the logout this this menu session driven it renders according to the session and we have 
four different types of menu we have implemented one for the customer second one for the admin third one for the delivery person and fourth one is a for the non non login user right so you can see now you are getting the login option you are not getting the my administration option because it's a session driven it renders according to the session now i am going to login as an admin admin at the rate admin.com the password is test so, right so this is the admin you can see you will get a lot of uh, content here right all of a lot of options here 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 you can see add option and report option here right so this is the add option right this is add new product you from here you can uh, add the product right and then add new category from here you can add the category uh, even upload the image here um, uh, and the add new user from here uh, admin can add the new user also right admin can add either a delivery partner or either you can add customer right reports you can see all of the product reports here you can see all of the product reports are coming here you can search the product from here right if i click on the product one right and if i search <coughs> then it will show the product right you can edit it and you can delete it also right next one is a category report again this is the same category report you can perform the crud application from here you can add the new category from here also right this is a customer report all of the customer who has registered will be displayed here right suppose if i want to delete any customer just click on delete and that customer will be deleted from the database right this is a customer report and then this is a delivery partner report let me show you this is a delivery partner report right so there are two delivery partners available here right and you can search for here, right? So these all are the features uh, admin can perform. Now I am going to order, update the order. So once you click on the order report, you can see this edit button is coming on the admin, right? This ad, edit button you can't uh, get in on the user panel, right? Suppose if I have it's in the progress, right? I want to change it and I want to assign a delivery partner to it, right? So just click on edit and this is a tracking ID and this one, right? This is a delivery partner and order status in progress, right? so it's i can say it's a delivered right submit so you can see it has been updated to delivered right so this is the option for the delivery and now this delivery partner will be able to see all of the orders which has assigned to him and he can also update the status right now i am going to log in as a delivery partner so user is delivery at gmail.com the password is test right so this is the you can see this is a very smallish dashboard what is a very sort of options right here once you click on the my deliveries he will be able to see what the order uh, uh, admin has assigned to him right suppose order pack now if he want to so enter the tracking id and uh, this is the right and order pack is going on the way right submit so he now uh, the user will be able to see it's on the way right so again uh, this is a very uh, so delivery partner can only be able to see the item assigned to him for deliver right and he will not be able to perform any of the operations right you can see the menu and the dashboard is rendering according to the rules right so once you click on the logout you are all position will be destroyed and you will be able to see the home page right so now so this is all of the features what we have implemented here in this budget online shopping system as i told you earlier this is a java spring boot uh, uh, and react based application and the mysql based application right now i am going to explain you the structure of the project so this is the react application right here you can see the node modules right this is a public folder where we have uh, placed all of the all of the public files like css images and all right and fonts this is a src you can see these are the src actions are here right so you can see this is the actions right all of the authentication profile types are here components all of the components we have placed here right authentication here category cred application this is the add category from here you will be able to see add the category category list this is the category list page right this is a category report page right this is a feedback right so all of the this is a layout right all of the layouts say alerts for alerts we have implemented footer header right so this we have implemented here right order space this is the order details right so api this is the api for that right you you will be able to see that these are the very simple code and this from this code you will be able to learn how to develop the application and again the product page right you can see this all of the pages we have developed right and 
if you click on the app.js you will be able to see all of the router paths we have implemented here so these are all are the path and we have attached that component from that part so that part is getting rendered on that uh, home page mm. right so this this is a structure of the react.js application right if i talk about the spring boot application so this is the spring boot application right here you will all you will get all of the resources here right uh, java files so this is the uh, application.java this is a default page this is a configuration fields again and these all are the controllers we have developed right you can see the category controller right so this i upload service and this all of the java code we have implemented here right so you can see this is the controller all of the comments and contact control all of the controllers are available here right and these are the exception handling we have created exception class here and now this is a model this is a comment models you will be able to see the, all of the model definitions here right this is a product model let me show you this is a product model right and uh, you will be able to see all of the product uh, table definition here right now this is the repository right and uh, it contains all of the repository right uh, for it's uh, behaving like a middleware between the models and the uh, you can say controller right and these are the basic services so we have implemented uh, the only file upload services here you can see so all of the files are get, getting up using this right so <clears throat> this all uh, things we have uh, implemented inside this project and for database we have used the php my admin right so this uh, as i told you earlier these are all all features we have implemented inside this project and as i told you earlier this is a very uh, uh, big project where we have implemented the admin and the delivery and the you know, customers right these three types of user roles we have implemented inside this project right but if you need any enhancement any extra features in this project right and so just put it into the comments we will incorporate those changes we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest projects on the latest video latest videos on the latest projects so thanks for watching the video thank you very much